Hey guys, welcome. Paddling jackets. It's a little bit overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed, but we're going to try and teach you so you don't make as many as mistakes as I have over the 30 years of paddling. Not mistakes, but see if I can get some of my learnings out to you. So, paddling jackets. They protect you from the environment. Whether it's a hot environment, a cold environment, whether you're just on a flat water, lake, river, a moving river, rivers with rapids, one to six, the ocean, flat, waves, really exciting paddling. There will be paddling jackets for you. You might need a paddling jacket for summer, for winter, different environments. It's a little bit overwhelming. Let's move slowly. Let's learn about the key features of paddling jackets. Basic groups, we have a basic pullover, very similar to a rain jacket. We have a dry jacket, which tries to keep you dry. We have a semi-dry, which is not dry nor, nor wet. We've got paddling jackets with hoods, without hoods. Paddling jackets with double tunnels and not double tunnels, just a single pullover. Where will your paddling jacket possibly leak? You will possibly have a gasket around your neck and you'll probably have gaskets around your wrists. So, neck and wrist gaskets. Let's check out some wrist gaskets. So, the first paddling jacket is just a simple neoprene hook and loop. Not so waterproof. If you place your hand in the water, the water will run up your base layers. The next would be a latex gasket. Latex gaskets are nice and dry. Oh, they're also rather tight to get on. But they, water does not get up the base layer. And they're also protected by a neoprene gasket so they don't get sun damage, wear and tear, sunscreen or insect repellent on them which breaks them down. Neck gaskets depend on what type of kayaking you're doing. So touring, flat water, when you want to vent air you want a nice big chimney so all the, the hot air can get out. You might be warm on a a hot day so open the chimney however if you start wanting to maybe go through a maybe a wave or a little rapid and a splash might go through you want to be able to close off your paddling or your neck gasket the next level would be just a neoprene or a firm fitting rather relaxing could wear this all day long stop water getting down but if you were to paddle extreme paddling water will get down if you go upside down and a rapid or a wave hits you water will still find its way down into your base layers all right a dry neck gasket latex with a neoprene protection gasket extreme paddling waves rapids spending a lot of time upside down water won't go in and down into your base layers. So, I'm a touring guide, sea kayak guide and instructor. This is the jacket I wear most these days. So, we've got a double tunnel. A double tunnel is so I can wear a spray skirt here and place it over. Now we have a hook and loop with neoprene which you can close off get a pretty firm fit it isn't going to be waterproof but it's going to stop a wave go down into your neck into your base layers you can open it up and when you're just cruising along you can be venting air like a chimney hot air heat now this is almost a semi dry jacket 
because we've got latex gaskets at our wrist with hook and loop and neoprene. Not that I ever use that really, but I just leave it like that generally. Hoods. This one zipped out and was able to be put away. It's a little bit controversial. A lot of people talk about hoods can catch moving water in surf as well as in rivers. You can, if need be, possibly tuck your hood in and away so that doesn't happen if you don't require the hood under your PFD or down the back of your top. So some paddling jackets, hoods are just a part of the accessory. Thanks for tuning in team. Any questions that may still be pondering, ask below. Paddle safe team, get out, get some instruction. We'll see you out on the water.